Now guys, just keep in mind, do, do not take reading for granted because even though it's just reading, it actually challenges a lot of people. So apart from pronunciation, there are also accent neutralization classes, videos, handouts, and exercises included in the dashboard. <music> to book for your coaching spots this time around how to use your dashboard so sir brian the head of our online review team thought of something different an innovation for the benefit of our reviewees the common concern in the first few months of online review sir i missed a specific class i'm working every day i'm working for seven days a week for 12 hours a day girl uh Get some life, okay? <laughs> your, your job might be killing you. But kidding aside, we make it convenient for our reviewees by recording the most important classes. And right now, the dashboard contains more than 100 hours of recorded lectures for listening, reading, writing, speaking, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, accent neutralization. And in a few weeks' time, FYI, this is March 2021. So if you're watching this in April, most likely it's already uploaded to your dashboard. So we're going to include content speaking, content writing. So what's the purpose of these classes? The lecturer is going to talk about the questions and topics that frequently come out in the examination, plus what are possible answers. We're going to upload listening skills enhancement reading skills enhancement plus common mistakes in writing task one writing task and speaking so that you know what to avoid when you take the examination this time we're going to talk about the dashboard uh, let's begin with oet miss isa what's the first step for our reviewees to access their online review dashboard well they need to have it activated first okay because you even though you download the application or even if you try to access it on the website, you will not have an, uh, the access to your dashboard unless you request for an activation. And for that to happen, they have to send an email to uh, training at nineronline.com and onlinereview.com, uh, sorry, online sorry. And they have to send in proof of enrollment, the date of enrollment as well, and then, of course, their, their personal details like their complete names and, of course, um, a working email address. That's the most important. Um, we keep on stressing that it should be typed or encoded properly because, again, we might have problems with a a dashboard activation if you don't encode the right email address. There you go. That's the case in OED. What about IELTS, Ms. Diane? How can the students have access to their dashboard? It's very, uh, very much similar to the OET dashboard. So again, they have to um, have an email address, working email address, their password, of course. They have to sign in. And then, oh, just like what Ms. Isa said, it's not enough to do that. They have to um, make sure that their accounts are activated. And that is by sending an email to... Um, training at NinerOnlineReview.com For some people, when they open the mobile app or the website, sometimes they're confused. Uh, is, is, is this it? Why am I seeing only a few videos? That's your cue that your dashboard has not been activated yet. So the dashboard contains free content and paid content. The paid content is activated upon request after enrollment. Now, let's take a look at what are the classes that people can see on their dashboard. So for OET, definitely Sir Philip's replays and Sir Brian's replays are there. So Sir Brian is usually conducting four days of OET lectures, whereas Sir Philip, five days. Uh, usually what are featured on the first two days and the, the last three days. 
Well, basically, we start with listening, mm-hmm. and the OET subtest has four parts, similar with the IELTS. So we have listening, reading, writing, and speaking as well. So we always start with listening, and we believe that this is actually one of the easiest subtests in the OET. And then afterwards, we have reading. Now, guys, just keep in mind: do not take reading for granted because even though it's just reading. It actually challenges a lot of people, and then afterwards you ha- you proceed with your um, speaking and writing. So day one usually orientation, pretest, and listening. I'm saying usually. Usually. Okay? Day two reading. Day three, day four writing. Day five speaking and post test. That's for O E T. What about IELTS. We have a lot of recorded lectures uploaded to the dashboard. So I, for one, have the following classes on the IELTS dashboard: writing task one, major lecture; writing task two, major lecture; uh, lecture speaking, major lecture; IELTS master class, speaking final coaching; writing final coaching; writing task one program; writing task two program. So you will find. Eight recorded lectures of yours truly that you can watch on your dashboard anytime, anywhere for as long as you have internet connection. So aside from me, there are other IELTS lecturers who have uploaded their classes. So Sir Brian has uploaded his version of the writing program to the dashboard. But why Sir Brian? Well, who's more credible than our lecturer who got 9.0 in writing? He actually took IELTS twice. First attempt. 9.0 in writing, second attempt, 8.5 in writing. Well, if you're thinking, oh, that's, that was just a fluke that he got now. He took it twice, perfect score and near perfect score. That's why he is the one handling the writing program. Sir Philip has intensive classes uploaded to the dashboard. I believe that Sir Fritz also has lectures on the dashboard, right? Yes, sir. Um, mostly grammar. Mm-hmm. Grammar lectures for Sir Fritz. Uh, I think that's his expertise. Yeah. Yeah, we also have lectures from Marlon, mm-hmm. Sir Marlon, and um, we have... Yeah, lo- I think it's them, right? Yes, sir. Um, Marlon, Sir Sir Fritz. Mm-hmm. And then the thing is, in the dashboard, they can download materials as well. So it's not, it's not just the lectures that you can get from the dashboard. You have materials and lectures. So everything is there. For speaking... We've compiled more than 2,000 actual questions and topics that we've encountered ever since we started teaching in 2006. So in 15 years of compilation, it features the most updated list of questions that are possibly recycled in the actual examination. For writing, we have more than 100 topics. So students are saying, sir, thank you so much for being so benevolent and altruistic <laughs> that you've provided us with the actual questions. But sir, don't you think it's a lot better if you could also provide us with answers? I'm glad you asked because there are model essays also in the dashboard. Well, sir, Brian is fond of making essays. It's his habit to come up with essays. So there are model essays uploaded to the dashboard. What else are the, uh, the other features of the dashboard? The a mobile app that you'd like to share for the benefit of our reviewees who want to uh, maximize their review fee at 9.09er. Okay, uh, for the speaking major, um, there are actually videos and then task cards, set of task cards. We have 1 to 11 and they can use this for mm-hmm. practice and of course for um, Pronunciation, I think this is very important because a lot of um, students are not very much confident when they talk and pronunciation is a part of it and there are uh, videos included as well. So all of this will help the students prepare for the test. So apart from pronunciation, there are also accent neutralization classes. Videos, handouts, and exercises included in the dashboard. Uh, what about OET, Ms. Isa? Is there something more or something else that they can benefit from in their dashboard? Well, um, actually compared to IELTS, the mm-hmm. OET is more simplified in terms of the knowledge mm-hmm. that, or, and the skills that they need in order to pass the exam. So in the OET dashboard, it's actually quite simpler compared to the IELTS, mm-hmm. but they usually would also get the... 
the fundamentals of the each subtest and there are also we all have also uploaded there a video of what they can utilize when it comes to speaking of course and um, we have uploaded as well a sample role play and they would have an idea as to how it would go once they are into coaching already so you see guys when the lecturers and coaches are awake you can review but even if the lecturers and coaches are asleep you can still <laughs> review because of the dashboard so if you have questions you can possibly reach us by emailing training at ninerreview.com. You can message our Facebook account or you can also reach us through our mobile number. Don't hesitate to ask if you have questions. Once again, this is Ms. Isa, Ms. Diane, and Sir Irvin. Don't forget, if you think that this video will help your fellow reviewees, please share it to them so that they are not roaming in the dark while they are going for one-on-one -on -one coaching and watching videos in the dashboard. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more contents. And we thank you for choesing 9.09 or IELTS Tutorial and Review Center. Thank you!